What makes a nerd a nerd and not a geek? And a geek a geek and not a nerd? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. All right, yesterday we released a new music video on our main channel. It's called Epic Rap Battle Nerd vs. Geek. Homie's not my thing, but I don't care. I look so good in chain mail that it's not Renaissance Fair. Doesn't Thank you for checking that out, for commenting, for sharing that amongst all of your peoples, especially if they're interested in the worlds of nerddom and geekdom, which, as we discovered in the research of the writing of this song and producing of the music video, are... Two distinct worlds which cozy up to one another. Perhaps they overlap in some There's areas. There's quite a bit of crossover. Well, for, let, let, let's give you a little background first. Uh, so this video was uh, sponsored by Tiger Direct. Thanks to Tiger Direct, our sponsor, for letting us shoot in the store and giving us the stuff that we use in the video. In Miami. That, we went to Miami. That ain't bad. Um, but the original concept uh, that we talked about was the epic rap battle of nerdiness. Because you know, we have the original epic rap battle, we have the epic rap battle of manliness, and then we were like, let's do epic rap battle of nerdiness. And then in the very early stages of developing the idea, we started doing some research on like, what makes you nerdy, and all of a sudden we saw these different articles about geek versus nerd, and we were like, oh, that's even better, because now there's a, there's a battle between the geek and the nerd. Well, I, I mean, I... Yeah, it, it once it occurred to us that there was more of a story there, and and the, and those the two characters being different and not being nerds kind of thing, it made it more interesting. I I mean I certainly had a point of reference that nerds and geeks aren't the same thing. I know I know yeah, that. Not, yeah, I wasn't but saying I, that, but it but, seemed like, it seemed like a better thing to have a rap battle about it was not who's more nerdy, but the geek versus nerd dichotomy. But what I didn't understand was how intricately you could parse the differences between the two. And I'm using words like parse in order to be a little bit more nerdy. Or is it Not geeky? really. Oh, is it? A guy named, this is the dude's name, Burr Settles, which yes, is also yes, a sentence. Yes, he does. It's also a sentence. Burr, you should never settle, man. Don't uh, settle. This guy's a nerd. Unless it's your last name and then just own it. This guy's a nerd, I think, because he developed, he actually went in and did this global search of Twitter and saw how often certain subjects were associated with the word geek or the word nerd, and mm -hmm. then he created a graph that has a bunch of words on it that we'll put up here that shows, uh, it's basically a function you know, of things that become more geeky or things becoming more nerdy on this scale, and then whether or not things are nerdy or geeky. And I, I now, think- Now, I, I, first of all, I will say, the fact that someone went through all this trouble, like you said, I'm pretty sure that makes him a nerd, especially because the presentation of the chart, it doesn't look cool graphically. That would be something that a geek would do. A nerd would parse all this data and, and figure out how to segment it and, and compile it and all this type of stuff that you do with data, but then a geek would be the one who would make it Cool looking. And this one looks very nerdy and it's like illegible as you get into the more geeky. Maybe because he knows he's a nerd and he's like, I don't care about how geeky you get. That's when you can't read it anymore. Here's what I want to do because we did some research and I know you have looked at this, but I want to right. see if this stuff is still with you. I'm going to just name some of these things that are right along this line, whether they're geek or nerd. I want you to tell me whether or not this is a geeky thing or a nerdy thing. Well, let's start further out first. Okay, further out. Uh, cellist. Someone who plays the cello. That's a nerd. Now, it, it's, that's interesting because I've never heard the term band nerd. I've heard the term band geek. But when I think of someone who plays the cello, I picture a nerd. Well, yeah, and, and you were right. This, it, it is the nerdiest thing on the scale. Which is, again, this is so difficult because band geek. What do they play? They play brass? Yeah, yeah. They, they fits, if I said tuba... You would you would go with geek? I don't know. No, no, I wouldn't. I'm just listen. I'm not. I'm just. I'm the messenger here. Okay. What else? Uh, web comic, geek. Of course. Okay. Here's here's something a little. Let's let's go with uh, genius, nerd. Nerds are nerds. Are, you know they're typically very much centered in being smart. Geeks kind of they ha they're smart, but they have social sense. My or, or they're more socially aware, maybe to a fault. Microsoft. Geek. How did you know that? Because it typically is Mac is the geek. Oh, actually, I meant, I meant to say nerd. Well, you're wrong. Microsoft 
is on the line, but he has it it's on, on the, the line. he has it on the geek side. Well, it's on the line. You can go either way. That's in the overlap. Vegetables. What? I, like I mean, foodies. I think geek. You can be a foodie geek. So I would say geek. Vegetables are nerdy. I don't know why. Um, awkward. There's a gray area. Awkward. I would say more nerd. Definitely. Uh, zombies. Geek. It's more anything more pop culturey. I consider to be more geeky. Doctor Who. Geek. Because pop culture. Zelda. Uh, still geek. No, he's got Zelda as a nerd, and he has The Hobbit as a nerd. Which incidentally, we had the yeah. geek in our rap battle become Gandalf because that's it's so right on the line. Because we thought that. You know, a guy I, I don't consider myself to be smart enough to be a nerd. I respect nerds because they're smart. I'm just not smart enough. I can't achieve nerddom, and I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings, so I think that, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm a geek. I'm just, you know, I'm just an everyday man. I well, don't know. I, I'm a, you're a hipster. I, 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 think that the, um, I think that the fact that there are some YouTube channels, we talked about this a little bit in our research too, that uh -huh. tow this line illustrates how much of a line this is. You've got Geek, Geek and Sundry, Sundry Felicia Day. Right, which that makes sense. It's like board games, pop culture type uh, stuff that's very much in geek geekdom. But then you've got the Nerdist channel, which is Chris Hardwick. And when I think of Chris Hardwick I, and, and the Nerdist network, I think of geek stuff. I don't think I don't think of nerd, because he's a cool guy. I, I, I he think know, he, the guy, he knows how to dress. Still very much pop culture. I would say definitely Nerdist is geek. They should have been called Geekist, not nerdist, but I think they called themselves nerdist because they were socially aware enough to know that if I called us nerdist, it's so uncool it becomes cool again. So, as a socially aware geek, I'm going to call us nerdist because it's a better title. Which is why I think that your character clearly won the rap battle. I, I think, and I'm totally comfortable uh, admitting that. Well, we collectively wrote the whole rap. It's right, not like but we I'm, only wrote I'm our parts. I'm comfortable with saying that your character won because it's so much easier to pull for the nerd, and there's so much more irony in the nerd rapping versus the geek. Because they own it. Uh, a yeah. geek might tend to be so socially aware that it's, you know, it, it's uh, just kind of not, not being totally honest. Now, here's a nerd, Hank Green. Hank Green is a bona fide nerd, and he knows it. He's yeah. super smart, like legitimately smart about all the things that he speaks to. It isn't just a guy who's really into things, it's a guy who totally knows what he's talking about when he talks about something, and that it's appropriate. The nerd fighters are the people who are fans of the Vlogbrothers. Actual and, nerds. Um, f so we appreciate you guys sharing in the comments, what are what are your thoughts? You know, this is this is an open discussion in a gray area. I know we may have entered a hornet's nest with this one, but we don't want to turn anybody against this. We we love nerds, we love geeks, and if you like the song, we want to make the instrumental version available. We're going to do a contest, little community building exercise. If you want to take that and do a cover of Epic Rap Battle Nerd versus Geek. You can do that. And you can share it, uh, make a YouTube video, but then share it with us on the Retin Link community. We got uh, a link down there in the description on how you can get to that. And then your deadline is Sunday, October 27th. You make your cover video, and the best one is going to win a mythical prize pack consisting yeah. of a mythical show t shirt, a mythical show signed poster, and an up to this point CD, our, our CD with 27 songs on it. So take part. In the instrumental, don't just do it for the prize, though. Do do it to have some fun, you know. Fun it up over there in the Red Link community. You know what time it is. This is Rob and Thalia, and we're coming to you from Saskatchewan, Canada. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. If you don't want to participate in the community building exercise and you just want to buy this stuff, it's all available over at retlink.com slash store. We'd appreciate that. All of these are signed. Or just participate in the contest and buy something. Let's end this episode. Rhett is shrinking and Link is growing. Oh, I'm starting to feel kind of weird, man. Me too, man. What, what, what's yeah. happening? My shoulders. My, my sh oh, I'm getting taller. It's I'm getting bigger. Getting yeah. bigger. Look at me, I'm growing. I'm not moving closer to the camera. I'm just getting larger. This is not an illusion. This is really me getting larger. This is as small as I can get. If I got any smaller, then I would disappear. 
Brah, this is the noise I make when I'm getting larger. Do something first, though. Can I spin the sure. globe? And wherever it lands, and we will make a music video before we die in the location where it lands. Okay.